and in today I'm going to show you how to paint this acrylic landscape on a 5x5 five five inch canvas. We're going to be using Liquitex, um, nope, Liquitex acrylic paints, medium bodied, and um, you're going to need your Liquitex acrylic paints, a paintbrush, a water well, a canvas of whatever size you want, but I'm using a 5x5 five five inch canvas and then something for a palette. I'm using a piece of styrofoam, but you can use palette paper, you can use tin foil, you can use a plate, you can use a paper plate, whatever you want um, as your palette. I also have some paper towels here. I think they're really handy. Um, what we're going to do first is we're going to just paint kind of a base, uh, three layers of color. We're going to do green, then kind of this um, peach color and then the sky and then we're going to come on top and add layers to each of those um, sections along with the Sun. Okay, it's a pretty easy Landscape it's not hard. We're going to be using different hues of the colors. So that's something that um, You know, we're going to have to build the colors using the colors in our palette. So It's pretty easy. I promise you can do it. Don't be scared. Um, I'm excited to paint with you today. Okay, to get started, I'm going to load my palette. Now, to load my palette, I'm going to pull colors onto my palette. Okay, and then I'm just going to basically wipe off my brush and then pull the other color and then wipe off my brush. And I'm just wiping it off because I'm not getting it into the bristles much. I'm just kind of pulling the color in, wipe off my brush, pull the color in, wipe off my brush. I'm doing this so I'm not using my paint pots here to um, paint out of. I'm really using my palette. Okay, we might actually need quite a bit of white, so I'm going to pull in some of that. And then I'm going to rinse my brush off really good and start fresh. Okay, so I formed my palette. I'm going to leave my paint pots open. Um, while I paint so that in case I need to go back for more paint I can all right now we're going to paint three layers here we're going to paint I'll get my composition out a green layer kind of the the base of that will be kind of this lime green color and we're gonna paint this peach layer and then a blue okay so we're gonna start with the green and honestly for this base layer you're not going to see much of it so I'm, we're just gonna use this straight up green color and I might even get my brush just a tiny bit wet so it's a little bit looser. And I'm just going to paint kind of what I want my, my landscape to be, the initial shape of it. Now I like to paint um, like my, the edges of my canvas, you see? My, the, it makes your work look just a little bit more cohesive, especially if you're not putting this in like a floating frame or something like that. Now, real, uh, I say real painters, you know, um, I'm thinking you're probably just doing this for a hobby. Um, but if you were an artist who wanted to sell your work, you would maybe skip this step and put this in like a floating wood frame or something. So. There we go. Perfect. All right. Now I'm going to go and do the peach layer. Now, this peach layer is kind of tricky, okay? It's mostly this yellow and pink, okay? And then we have to add quite a bit of white in there to make it really sky 
looking. I'm going to add just a little bit more pink. I want it to be mostly pink, but I definitely don't want it to be hot pink, right? I want it to be a good... Um, a good dull pink, okay? Um, and if you notice, during sunset, sometimes the horizon will get pink. But then this, the top of the sky will stay uh, blue. And that's kind of what we're going for here. I'm just going to paint this peach layer right up next to it. Now, it's okay if it gets in there. Okay? Totally okay. Totally okay. And I'm even going to come in with some white, maybe. And kind of paint up there. Ah, don't you just love the feel of acrylic paint on canvas? It's just, I don't know, buttery or something. I'm just going to come over here, paint the edges. Like that, okay? I even might grab just a little bit of pink. I might regret this, but I'm going to add it here and just kind of pull it through so we just have a glow of pink. Oh, oh guys, it looks so good. Oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Perfect. Okay, and then now we're going to make some light blue. And to do that, we need a tinge of this darker blue with mostly white. Okay. And we're just going to come up here and add this to the top. Okay, and then to mix this, I'm just gonna get some white on my brush, and I'm just gonna kind of mix that together. Do you see that? Just bringing the blue down and kind of mixing, mixing all that together. Okay. Ah, oh, looks so good already. Looks great. Cool. Okay, now we're going to work on the grass, and we're going to add some layers to the grass to kind of bring it alive, to life. Yes, bring it to life. Okay, we're going to mix a little bit of a darker green over here. Now this is where our work with like, I'm gonna get my paint just a little bit wet. I like my paint to just be a little bit more fluid than um, what it is. Now, this is where we're going to use kind of a layering technique where I'm just going to kind of come up here with the end of my brush and I'm just kind of adding, I'm adding my first layer, okay? I'm adding my first layer. Trying to avoid any like, and I might even come up on the sides. Trying to avoid any like straight lines or lines that like, you know, are predictable. Okay, and then I'm going to add, I'm mixing kind of a lighter green. I'm mixing some white in here. And I'm going to add some lighter green to especially this hill right here. even add some yellow. And 
we're kind of doing a little bit of a, what's it called, impressionism, or just like small strokes in one direction. Um, maybe come in on top with just some of that plain green again. And we're just doing small, small strokes. I mean, this looks completely different than the last one I did. Here's my last one. You can see it. So, I mean, you know, yours doesn't have to look like mine. Every time I do it, it's just a little bit different. So, I do see that I have a little bit more dark green in this one. Maybe add some. Alright, I'm going to clean my brush off. Now we're going to add the sun. Now you can put your sun wherever you want to put your sun. Okay, I'm going to put my sun kind of in the middle because it's kind of where I want to put them, right there. And I have to get some more white out. Um, and, but you put your sun wherever you want. Okay, and I want you to, if you feel like you want your sun over to the side, put your sun over to the side. Now I'm just going to take my brush, I'm just going to do just a little bit of a white sun. Just like that. Okay? Just like that. Now I have some white on my brush and I'm just going to come up here and do some clouds. Do you remember studying clouds and like school. It's like all the different types. Cirrus Siri clouds. And <laughs> That's really pretty. I'm, I'm actually pretty proud of myself here. Okay, then I'm going to... Oh, dang. I had some green in that. Let's mix it in there. You'll never know. I'm going to add some like pink up here to the sky. And I might even add just a little bit of a tinge of the lighter bright pink to that just to kind of little highlights right just like that oh looks so good and then I might do the same thing with the blue I might have to make some more blue if that blues good I think that blues good come over here and make some more Gonna come in here and ah, it's a little bit too blue. There we go. Ta da! I think we're done. Yeah, looks so good. It was pretty quick, too, wasn't it? All right, guys, let me show you my work. Um, I bet yours looks good, too. Here it is. Yeah, an acrylic sunset on canvas. Here's my other one, just so you can see the difference. Isn't it crazy how different they look? Um, so, I mean, every time you do it, it's going to be a little bit different, which is totally fine, okay? Same idea, just different outcome. Um, that's why I love teaching a class of like 20, 30 people because I'm teaching the same thing, but then we have 30 different um, products, which is just kind of fun. So anyways, uh, I hope you guys had a great time. Uh, thank you for joining me here. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying healthy. I hope you're um, finding ways to restore yourself, to release stress. Painting is a great way to do that. So I'm proud of you for doing this. All right, we will see you next time.